Hello everyone. Today we have Vasu with us. He is one of our course enrolled student, and uh, today he is going to share his uh, learning journey with Gate Applied Rules. So, hi Vasu. It's great to have you here with us. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you for having me. Uh, the pleasure is all mine. So, please uh, tell us about yourself. Okay, ma'am. So, my name is Vasu Mara, and uh, I completed my senior secondary and higher secondary from my hometown, Lakhimpur Khiri. and after that i did my btech in information technology from gss academy of technical education noida which is affiliated to up's technical uh, in, uh, university yeah. so there um, i passed out my btech from uh, uh, from gss in 2020 and since then i've been employed in a uh, um, service sector company uh, for the last 1.5 years so that's it and i have also uh, attempted gate uh, in 2021 as well and scored around uh, 40 marks and got a rank of about 3900 or something so that so in 2021 you have prepared uh, by yourself or you have taken some other courses uh, ma'am uh, i applied uh, i had taken the applied course i did some self learning as well i had okay. taken other course as well but uh, Uh, most of it was uh, self learning only okay and what was the strategy for 2022 so ma'am i first of all jotted down all my points that i did uh, I, that i uh, couldn't do in 21 actually mm -hmm. i had only uh, just prepared five or six subjects in 21 because my joining had come in november and all the schedule just got distra uh, distracted so i just wanted to first know in 2021 whether i am made for this exam or not whether i'll be just uh, uh, wasting a year maybe just preparing for gate for one year and then uh, just standing at the same point so in this retrospect i think 2021 result was good uh, i just needed to uh, do some more subjects like i didn't touch os i didn't touch cn and also coa so these are the subjects which Uh, aspirants uh, find tough to grasp so i put a lot more effort this time in these subjects and although talking about coa uh, it took a lot of effort i mean <laughs> i had to do three passes from applied course but eventually it just got into my head <laughs> finally you won the battle now that is important yes, absolutely i mean i checked my answer key and I, it showed six marks out of seven so that was great a really <laughs> the yes. three three iterations of the video course succeeded ha huh? yes ma'am yes <laughs> okay so uh, like till when we have completed the course for this year uh, ma'am i actually completed my uh, technical subjects uh, till mid of september but i'll say i took around uh, the whole september also till september i was able to complete my first iteration and after that um i started doing the coa this os and this computer networks again from october along okay. with giving the tests as well okay so you have completed pyqs in parallel with the course completion or you have uh, like kept it for the last no ma'am actually i was doing all the pyqs and uh, some questions from other books as well uh, side by side i plus uh, i had actually enrolled in four test series so uh, i had just gauged that uh, two of them were quite on easy side so i did them as well parallelly because doing hard questions at that time can be a little bit demoralizing uh, because uh -huh. you are still uh, the memory is still nascent with all those concepts so that was that was it okay so like on an average how many hours do you invest in your uh, preparation uh, ma'am actually in the starting when i uh, when gate 21 got concluded and i started my preparation afresh i was putting in around 8 hours 4 uh, hours of classes and uh, then 4 hours of self study and this was uh, i think till the starting of april then corona got the better of me it uh, it came and one one month i think got uh, wasted in that 
after that uh, again that uh, that intensity was reduced uh, uh, i mean instead of eight i was maybe like putting four or maybe even less uh, time but uh, gradually uh, 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 from may i think from may i was uh, may or june i was again starting to build up and when october came i was again putting in eight hours this is really inspiring like how do you manage uh, job in parallel with the get preparation that we are investing like 8 hours this is like a huge amount of time um, actually um, i just got motivated from all the youtube videos i'll just create them because they just uh, helped me to set that to start the day at 4 now i'll be honest i didn't start exactly at 4 but i tried to get up at 6 and uh, try to complete as much as i could uh, before my job even started so from 6 to 10 i was doing uh, that youtube uh, videos like uh, the old uh, toppers videos right? yeah yeah the topper videos like uh, the like the uh, like the videos that you put last year okay uh, okay, of okay all okay. the interviews so that was a great learning curve for me because i could use many uh, talking points from those videos yeah. so i was actually uh, completing four uh, five hours before my job even started and after that i was just revising whatever i did for uh, in the morning so that was that was it i think yeah wow but this is really inspiring now your video is going to inspire a lot many future aspirants who are in the same shoes as of yours who are juggling with the work and preparation thing but yeah seriously <laughs> so yeah, um, um, any help i can provide that will be help that will be good that's great actually so how you have you planned your test series like from october you have started giving test right uh mam actually uh, there were two test series that were quite easy so i was giving them in tandem with my preparation from feb only but uh, when my first iteration got completed i started with uh, the made easy and this applied routes uh, test series because these were i th- I, th- i think these are on more uh, on the challenging uh, side for me plus uh, uh, as shrikant sir already mentioned in his uh, videos that two of the mock tests will be on the harder uh-huh. side and those actually really helped because uh, i secured uh, decent marks in those so that were a great confidence boost booster in me so yeah i think uh, till january i didn't give the last test live because again uh, again i i think this time omicron got the better of me so oh shit yeah so just before the gate exam just one week before the gate exam mm-hmm. but uh, i just collected myself i thought i'll just not study for two days not think about anything and uh, that will be i think this will go because i was hearing things that omicron is not that bad and i was just keeping positive that this will go away and it did and so things really go uh, went my way this time everything falling in place yeah. <laughs> at the end yes yes ma'am and that is important actually and you didn't lose your will power that is the most important part here it's okay not to give the last exam but it's okay to keep up with the same will power yes ma'am actually uh, The, doing the first iteration then scoring good in tests actually helped me uh, had i uh, scored less or there was no support from the mentors i think i would have fallen uh, till january came because there was a lot of pressure i was just getting overwhelmed the job was also getting more challenging day by day so i think the test series the marks in test series the preparation level that i had plus the support i got from my family from my friends and the mentors at uh, gate applied uh, all these things really helped really helped a lot that's really great actually these only things help us to pull ourselves from all these low points yes ma'am which everybody faces in their life at some point of time yes ma'am absolutely so uh, when you look back through your journey do you find anything like uh, you should have changed you should have not done or you should have you should have done anything uh for starters i think i should have gone out less uh, <laughs> i i got covid and i think that should have 
if that would have been avoided i could have uh, i mean maybe scored a more or i'm not thinking about that but uh, that would have actually given me more uh, time to prepare more uh, things to do and uh, also i wo- i won't uh, uh, what's the word i um, the the engineering mathematics i i'll i'll put more uh, focus on that part because it looks like it it ki that will be done that's easy but uh, it's quite challenging it's the questions uh, this time that the questions that came they really tested your conceptual thinking mm-hmm. they were not formula based mm-hmm. so i think i'll put more focus on in engineering mathematics plus i also i i didn't even touch aptitude because i thought that that was my strong forte but uh, this time i don't know what iit kgp did they even played with the aptitude section so but i was uh, able to sail through but uh, 15 out of 15 would have felt really great yeah. but uh, i think i'll put more focus on these two subjects not neglect them all together actually you have made a really good point uh, there are misconception with uh, mathematics and apti what we what majority of the students think that okay we have we have been doing this engineering mathematics from 10 plus 2 and uh, for the btech as well so it is easy we will look at the formula at the end in january and uh, we'll be able to solve the questions but actually math and aptitude is like uh, try to manage half an hour daily and do it alternatively yes, cover a small yes, topic think... solve four questions only but do it on a daily yes. basis just half an hour so it will yes, be ma'am. because it don't need revision it need practice for mathematics yes. and apti uh, we have practice it won't take much time it won't take separate amount of 15 days of time to cover it no no nothing is required like that just do it like for half an hour daily and it is more than enough and those 15 yes, months will I, be in your hand I definitely think, i think the same because uh, they just require practice nothing else yes just yes. constant practice because we know that actually is, everything but it just that we need to practice more and more questions yes to get the accuracy and everything yes correct right. you made a really really nice point actually so uh, is there anything you would like to suggest our future aspirants who are like uh, juggling with the same thing having the job pressure and uh, uh, hope to get the gate exam cleared oh uh, i'd say ma'am um, consistency is the key i think they would have already heard it so many <laughs> times but uh, yeah. that really is the key you just have to put your head down and start studying for put in maybe 4 hours if 4 hours i think is enough mm-hmm. uh, put 4 hours daily and by daily i mean no skipping uh, just uh, uh, study from from whatever course you are following even if you are doing self study but uh, Uh, some experts uh, actually ask can i do it with self study or not and answer is yes they can but uh, like in algorithms there is this time space trade off if you want to increase the time compl- uh, if you want to decrease the time complexity you sometimes have to increase the space same thing here this is the uh, time uh, space trade off like you can do the self study but it will take a lot of time lot you of have time. to search for search a lot of resources go through the standard resources and see what uh, what you have to study what you have to skip plus uh, if you are uh, following a structured course i think that uh, that will help you to save time that will help you to put uh, your time in uh, better uh, yeah. portions like you can work on your weaknesses you can identify those weaknesses so these two things only this consistency some percentage of work will be done by the course itself so you will ha- not have to do yes, that ma'am. Yeah. yes ma'am. Uh, how do you manage to like uh, analyze your mistake and work on your conceptual gaps what was your strategy for that actually uh, just before that i uh, had a say session on the same lines i don't know if it's implementable or not because uh, i am a working professional and uh, whenever i gave the test uh, the answer key and the analysis used to come on monday mm-hmm. now uh, when monday comes it's all hey why uh, i cannot uh, open you know the portal and see uh, analyze my mistakes so i had to wait till maybe friday evening of the same week or saturday to sit down because it usually takes half an hour one hour to analyze to uh, note down jot down the mistakes some conceptual mistakes some silly mistakes that you would have done 
so mm. i would just suggest that maybe just uh, releasing the answer keys on the same day so that you can see what uh, so that aspirant can see i think uh, the droppers or the college going students won't be facing this issue but uh, working for the working like professionals that, yeah yes ma'am so that uh, becomes a bit of issue so just releasing the answer key on sunday would be better and uh, to answer your question i usually went through uh, what all the questions and uh, divided it in uh, conceptual gaps silly mistakes so whatever conceptual gaps were there i would just write it down on my in my notes and uh, try to you know revise it uh, on a weekly basis so that i don't rem- uh, i don't uh, forget them plus uh, for silly mistakes i just used to uh, write down on a sticky note and put it on my wall so that i can see what actually i what mistake i did may sometimes it was decimal point sometimes it was rounding error this time also as you can see the iit kgp played a lot with rounding and the precision yeah. part so yeah. that actually helped a lot so uh, jotting down those mistakes and analyzing them uh, again and again would uh, actually help you get better from uh, with time yeah. nice nice point. so is there any question for us uh, yes ma'am actually i had two uh, the first one was uh, uh how because you all have been to premier institutes like isc iit and uh, people always say that there is a lot of pressure on students regarding the projects quizzes coursework so how do you manage this pressure how do you uh, you know how did you do it in your time see uh, eventually uh, everything will be fine first day will be a bit of overwhelming but uh, once you are there you will get that environment completely like everybody around you will be having the same feelings will be juggling with the work having facing the same problem so you people can discuss because you all are on the same page right so you can yeah. people can use that community to discuss your problems to work on them together and uh, like come out of that fear so initially the starting day uh, it will be a bit of overwhelming but yeah for the starters what you can do you can like uh, prepare some of the uh, topics or subjects which you feel like will be there definitely in the branch you are going towards so you can start with that you can start your preparation with competitive coding dsa linear algebra and some part of statistics so you will not get some magical words there you will be able to understand what the professor is trying to explain you on the first day itself okay so avoid this you can start you can prepare yourself uh, from the one day one itself otherwise don't worry it will take some time because it's a new place new environment new uh, subjects you are going to study or you are going to encounter actually so it will take some time but everything will get normal we'll get settled down so don't worry just uh, keep you. trying keep trying that's it yes ma'am thank you for the and it's you. nothing like you cannot do you can do it yes ma'am okay yeah. and my second question was uh, like if i'm trying for the cds branch in iasc i just wanted to know what things i should prepare start preparing from now for the interviews and the written for the interviews you should start with the basics only uh, this uh, dsl algorithms uh, linear algebra and definitely coding part because from like last one year majorly of the majority of the students are putting their time for the theoretical part only we do not work on the implementation so this is the best time uh, to start working on the competitive coding part plus mathematics and uh, algorithms these are the basic pillars actually so once you have this part clear in your head you can move forward definitely okay okay, okay. thank you ma'am yeah. me time and thank you so much and best wishes for your future we wish you all the luck <laughs> thank you ma'am thank you so much